Hello and welcome back to Mirror and Thread. Thank you so much for being here today. We are back from vacation. We went to California with my sister last week and London had her first beach experience and it was so much fun. But we are glad to be home and back into your routine. And actually, we are unofficially calling it fall around here because today's video is a fall update to our home decor. So I am very excited to break out the fall stuff and I got lots of new things from Walmart this year that I wanted to show you early. I know it's so early in the season, but I'm all about fall. I am fine extending it and I always want to be able to show you guys all the good stuff early. So this video is sponsored by Walmart. So thanks to them for sponsoring and you will be able to find everything that I'm sharing and that I'm talking about in the video description. Side note, this dress is also from Walmart, so it'll be a great fall transitional piece, so I will link this for you as well, and we will get started. Okay, I have to start off with the pillow situation because they have so many good fall throw pillows, and I feel like that's one of the easiest ways to make a change seasonally in your home. So I like to do new ones on the sofas. Sometimes if I'm really feeling festive, I'll do new ones in our bedroom as well. And Walmart has so many affordable options that that's just a really quick, easy way that you can make a change up. So I snagged these just plain yellow pillows. They've got this frayed edge and it's frayed yellow on top, frayed white on the bottom. And then they're the same both directions, but these are a really great size. These would also be great on a bed. And then how stinking cute are these little pumpkin pillows? Also, they're like the softest things ever. London, our one-year-old is obsessed with these. She keeps like toting them around. I mean like pumpkin, pumpkin, because it's like a soft little pillow that's kind of her size. But I thought these are super cute. And again, this would also be really cute on a bed too. The plaid ones I already had. So I'm kind of mixing in some things that I had from years ago and added some new pieces too. But I did also add this gorgeous yellow and white or yellow and cream, I guess, pillow in as well. I think these two also go really well together. So if you're only gonna buy a couple things from the video, I recommend making it some of these fun pillows. Like I said, they're very affordable and they really kind of pack a big punch as far as seasonal decor goes. So this has these gorgeous little yellow flowers on it tassels on all four sides and then the back is this yellow color as well so i stuck these in our leather chairs just for a little festive touch also you guys walmart's basket game is like insanely strong right now and these are of course multi-seasonal you don't have to just do these for fall but i did see them online and I was like, ooh, I like the idea of adding in some like brown pieces, some of this kind of natural looking pieces for fall and these would work, like I said, after the season as well. But these come in a two pack and these are the perfect size. I actually got four of them and I just put them all on our bottom shelves. I've been watching like design shows and all these like looking at Pinterest to kind of try and beef up my home decor skills. And I noticed that a lot of times on shelves, they'll do just like a big basket or a big set of baskets on the bottom row. Love the way that that looks. And these turned out to be the perfect size. These would also be great for storage. You could use these in a kid's room, you could use these in a closet and they are gorgeous. Okay, this is another gorgeous option. And again, the size on these are fantastic. I feel like a lot of times when you find baskets in store, when you go to order them online, they always turn out smaller than how you wanted them. And these are actually the appropriate size. So this is a two pack as well. Came with this one and this bigger version, which I threw some blankets in and put at the edge of our couch just for kind of a cozy feel. That was a new addition this year. Um, also this, this throw blanket is from Walmart as well. And it's kind of like a mix of cream and yellow. So it kind of tied in really well with the yellow color palette I was going for for fall and it's really nice and cozy and it's perfect size just for a throw. But these are gorgeous. I did this one on the edge of the couch and then this one, we're actually in the process of getting our nursery ready. We are way behind this year compared to when we had London, had all that done like way in advance. But um, this time we are just now getting started on the nursery, but I'm going to use this as like a dirty clothes, dirty burp rags, kind of cute way to do that in a basket in his room. 
Okay, I actually got so excited about the baskets that I sort of overbought on baskets and I ended up with really one too many, but I wanted to show you this one too because I think the design on this is gorgeous. So this is a Dave and Jenny line from Better Homes and Gardens and I just love the way that this looks. So it's got the like raffia at the bottom, this kind of bamboo look at the top and then these faux leather straps. Again, great size. I also think this would be good for like a front porch or back porch or patio situation. You could throw throws in there, you could put some wood in there. That would be a nice, really cute, cozy feel for fall as well. So definitely wanted to call this one out too. Couple of simple little decor pieces that I feel like you can really put anywhere in any space and they just give a little bit of warmth. So I kind of like when I'm doing seasonal decor, unless it's Christmassy, I really kind of like to use things that I feel like I could use after the fact as well. So this is a super cute little planter. This would be great with a succulent in it for summer or something too, but I actually just left it empty and put it on one of our bookshelves for fall because I love this color. Also snagged this lamp, which I am using as decor on the coffee table. Now you can get those little plugs where they like plug in automatically and you can do them like battery powered. I'm just planning on basically using this as a decor piece. It's not the most functional lamp in the world as far as where it's placed right now. Obviously it works if you were to plug it in on a nightstand or a table or something, but I just love the look of this. I think it's gorgeous. Again, this is definitely not just something that is fall seasonal, but it did bring in some of this brown and some of the cream that I was looking for just to kind of warm the place up a bit, which I like to do season seasonally. This is another really affordable way to add some fall touches if you're just wanting a little bit of something, but you don't wanna like revamp your whole house. This is a candle two pack. This comes in vanilla and apple, which I actually have burning the apple right now. And it smells amazing. It's giving me fall vibes, but I feel like not too fall. It's not pumpkin scented yet. And so this is still very appropriate in my mind <laughs> to burn in August. But also I really like the designs on these, specifically this vanilla one with the white and the gold flowers worked really well. And I'm all about having candles that work, but also still look cute as decor. I also added a couple of little things to the kitchen and dining room just to kind of bring that color in as well. So this is a new table runner that I snagged just this year from Walmart. And it's again, not super like screaming <laughs> seasonal fall, but it does give that warmth. And I think plaid, I don't know, I kind of think fall when I think plaid, especially like a black and brown plaid like this. So to me, it's the perfect amount of festive without being something that you couldn't use year round if you wanted to. So great quality, really cute. And it worked well with color of our table and all that good stuff. Side note, we actually did some rug shuffling in our house. And if you watched our guest room reveal, that's been lots, well, a long time ago, maybe close to even a year ago. But when we redid our guest room, I had a rug from Walmart in there that we actually just put in the dining room, which worked well, again, for the seasonal, it's a little bit warmer, but also those rugs are washable. And I learned that we def definitely need a washable rug in the dining room. So had to strip the other one down. We were redoing the nursery anyways. We were left with that one and I was like, hey, this is perfect. And you can actually throw those in your washing machine and wash them and they are fantastic. Also snagged just this simple thing of kitchen towels that are yellow and cream. Again, kind of coloring, kind of carrying that yellow color palette throughout. And I like to do new kitchen towels seasonally. I don't know, it's just something that like, I get a little bit excited about in my 30s. Maybe that means I'm getting older, but this came in a pack of, I believe four, and they're all different colors and patterns in the same yellow color scheme. I think that's all I have to share with you for new things that I purchased this year. I did have a like variety pack of small pumpkins that I got a couple years ago that I broke out again and just kind of littered those a little bit throughout. There's a couple on the coffee table, there's some in the shelves and I stuck some in the kitchen. So I will find a similar little pack of those and link those for you as well. And then keep an eye out on my like to know it page. If you go down to the video description, you make sure you're following there and I'm going to be redoing the front porch later next week as well. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And thanks to Walmart for sponsoring this video and thanks to you all for watching. You can find everything in the video description that you would need to shop and I'll see you next time.